coming to you very bundled up from my hallway that is not cold enough to wear this kind of outfit. Um, it is very cold this week or this past weekend, but I am wearing this because this is one of my outfits that is in today's blog post about um, four ways to wear Chelsea boots. So Chelsea boots are a huge trend right now. They're basically just any kind of boot that is not lace up, um, that you know is slim on the ankle. They can be any color. There's tan, there's brown, there's black. Um, honestly, there's probably plenty of other colors out there. Really what's uh, specifically trendy right now is um, kind of a chunky heel. I will link these ones for you. The ones that I have shared so many times um, over the last couple of months since I got them at the Nordstrom sale are those black treasure and bond ones. Those are Chelsea boots too. It doesn't have to be like a boot that you bought this year that's a Chelsea boot. Okay. These are three Chelsea boots that I own. These are the chunky bottom ones. These are rain boots. These are rubber. These are leather crocodile um, leather boots and don't have a chunky heel, but all of them because of their shape are considered Chelsea boots, just so you know what we're talking about. But today I wanna to talk about wearing socks with this kind of boot or really with any kind of short boot because you guys ask me questions about this all the time. So let's talk about it. Okay, obviously I have two different styles of socks here. One is a dark gray wool sock. The other one, these are from L.L. Bean. They're not wool, but you know, some kind of striped sock, light colored. And I'm wearing leggings with these, but this also works with black jeans dark wash jeans, any kind of slim fit jeans, leggings, pants, whatever. So um, just a couple of tips about wearing socks. So the reason that we would wear socks with boots like this is because we need the extra warmth. Um, the moment that I put on the socks, it's like way more warmth. So if you live in a cold climate, this is a great suggestion. But the issue is that the height of the sock and the color of the sock are gonna make a difference in the way your outfit looks. So just looking at these side by side, you can see the difference in how this makes the outfit. So this one obviously creates like a space right there where it's between a black shoe and a black legging, this light colored stripe where the gray one is much more subtle. It's not creating a stripe really. It's just like a little slightly lighter section. Both options are 100% fine. I really like both options. It's just paying attention to what it's doing to your outfit. And the other thing that I wanna point out is watch this. So this is a much longer sock, but if I lift this sock up, look what that does to my outfit. It gives me this really odd large section of light colors between the dark and the dark. So. Pay attention to which socks you're putting on and how much sock you're showing. So when I lower this way down and it's just like a little peak coming out, it gives me the same amount of warmth, but it doesn't create this big like jarring section at my ankle that draws weird attention. Okay, let's look at the gray sock now. It still makes a kind of a blocky section at my ankle, but um, it just is not quite as stark because obviously it's a more similar color to my leggings and my boots, right? So you're not gonna wear black boots every time, maybe if you wear a tan boot or a brown boot or whatever, just pay attention to the color of the socks and how much sock you're showing. I recommend smaller amounts of socks showing than larger amounts of socks showing just because it doesn't create these weird like sections of leg like this one did where it's just like one weird bright section. There's no right sock, wrong sock, right boot, wrong boot, whatever, but just pay attention to how it's cutting your leg line into weird sections or it's creating a weird contrast against the color of your boot or against the color of your pants. Um, there's no wrong answers in fashion. You can do what you want, but just pay attention how it's affecting the rest of your outfit, how it is flattering your leg line, and how it's drawing attention to cer certain kind of odd spots of your body. So I hope that's helpful. I'm gonna do another episode of Get Dressed With Merrick soon. So that's all. 